Hey, I'm Dylan at Western Bike Works, and this is the Garmin Vector pedal-based power meter. Believe it or not, they are here. Garmin has been teasing us with their candy for years. The Garmin Vector pedal-based power meter. If you're a serious athlete, you need to be training with power. Power meters have been around for quite a while. You're familiar with PowerTap, that's a hub-based system, and then Quark and Stages, that's a crank-based system. How this differs from all the other power meters on the market is that it is pedal-based, meaning that it's very easy to swap between different bicycles. You don't have to remove the entire crank set. It's also different in that it measures each foot separately so you know exactly how much wattage your left and your right foot are putting out at any given time. So it measures power where it matters most, where you're actually transmitting power to the bicycle. It also tells you the balance between your left and right leg. So you can download the Garmin Connect software after your ride. You can look at those metrics and see how balanced your power output is. It's based upon a carbon composite pedal body with a stainless steel spindle, very high quality bearings, and instead of using strain gauges like they do in say the power tap or the quark, they use sensors in here that measure the deflection of the pedal spindle, accurate to within 2%, so this is a very accurate system. It's also very different in that you don't have to send the unit back to the manufacturer in order to recharge the battery. So it runs on a watch cell, a 2032 little watch cell battery in each of these little pods. You have to mount the pods to each of the pedal spindles. And these pedal pods that mount to the pedal, they do a couple things. Is one, it houses the battery and the sending unit, and it communicates with a Garmin device, say the Edge 510, the 810, the 1000, and some of their forerunners. It communicates via the Ant Plus protocol. It also houses accelerometers, so you don't need to have a separate cadence sensor. The pedals know exactly what your cadence is by virtue of that accelerometer. If you need to recalibrate the pedals during a ride, you simply pedal backwards six rotations and you've recalibrated calibrated those pedals. And this runs for about 200 hours of, of run time. So you get 200 riding hours on each charge of this battery and then very easy to replace without having to send it back. Based upon the Look Kio cleat system, it ships with their six degree float cleats, but you can also get the zero degree float cleats that are sold separately. Adjustable tension, so you can fine tune the release tension on the individual pedals. 426 grams for the set. There are some very critical compatibility issues that you need to be aware of. If your crank is wider than about 38 millimeters and thicker than 15 millimeters, you may have some interference issues. So make sure you watch the other video that Garmin produced showing you how to check to make sure that your cranks are compatible with the system. And since 2011, they've been teasing that they're going to release this and it's finally come to market. We've seen the Garmin team members testing this in some of the races this past road season. We're very excited about this. Have any questions about the Garmin Vector pedal-based power system or anything else? Give us a call or visit us at westernbikeworks.com.